वेलकम बैक गाइस दिस इज मंदीप गोस्वामी फ्रॉम नरेन मीडिया वर्क्स एंड आई एम बैक विद द मोस्ट रिक्वेस्टेड ट्यूटोरियल सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड Okay so I have gathered all files in this folder and these are the files we are going to work on or we are going to work with and I would like to show the basic image this is the basic image and this is our final result Okay let's jump into Photoshop now we will open this file into photoshop and start working on it okay to extract the subject from the background we will use pen tool p is the shortcut for pen tool and we will start from the bottom of this photograph and very carefully we will cut out the subject from this background you need to be very calm while you are doing this kind of boring and time consuming task you need to be focused so this is the process of cutting the subject from the background and this is very time consuming so i'm going to fast forward the video from now till the end of cutting this subject and then we will talk back again later so as you can see we have selected our subject and we will click on mask and here we go now if we click on disable layer mask we will see the subject with background and control z this is it okay now it's time to find the background and bring it in our image so here it is we will drag it into photoshop and now we will release the drag okay now we will select it by control a control c and now by control v we will paste it and bring Uh, bring it behind the subject now we will set it according to our image control t for free transform and now we will stretch it from the corner and set it according to our image as we want it to be and then no uh, okay this will this will be fine then okay okay and now uh, we will set our subject in in a position where it looks uh, kind of realistic and perfect for this image 
there is a problem in this image that the reflection of light it's kind of old and i don't like it so we will uh, use temp tool to get rid of this lighting so we will use temp tool and click the sample from the background itself and uh, brush it on the lighting so we will get rid of the lighting completely Okay, we have done with the background. I know it's not perfect, but it will be covered by the water splash. So don't worry about it. And now we will change the color of this background. Control U for hue saturation dialog box and we will bring the hue slider till it gets red. And now we will bring down the saturation. Okay. Now we are going to work on hair of this beautiful lady. So first of all, we will select the layer. Then we will right click and click on duplicate layer. Okay. So now we will disable the upper one and click on lower one and now we will work on it. So we will zoom it and then press ctrl plus l it will bring us the levels dialog box and then we will choose the white color pickle and click on gray part then ok and now we will change the blend mode to multiply ok now we will enable the upper one and then we will click on layer mask and we will take the brush and we will make sure that it's soft brush and uh, hardness is uh, around uh, around 18 to 20 then ok and now we will start brushing on the gray part of the uh, layer and make sure the opacity is 100% ok now we will smoothly brushing and removing the gray part from this background This will completely erase the grey or white part and only the hair will be shown. Now we will link this layer by link layers option and we will put them in a group and rename the group by girl. Now we are going to create that amazing splatter effect or water splash effect. For that we are going to load this brush preset into photoshop and for that we will click on brush then setting then first of all reset all brushes then we will click again and this time we will click on load brush. This is our brush preset and we are going to load it. So we will click on load brush are loaded and now we will have to find the effect that we want in our image now uh, this is it yes click on it and then ok now we will click, uh, click on a new layer so we will create a new layer and we will position it then we will make the brush bigger ok this will be fine then we will click on it oh this is not the right color ctrl z or ctrl z and then we will choose the white color and then we will click again this is it ok now we will uh, transform it ctrl t is the shortcut key ok ok now we will position it first of all we will zoom it in then we will position it mm, ok this is fine no it's not ok this is good 
now we will duplicate the splatter effect or splash effect then work on it now we will uh, click on layer mask and we will erase the front part of this duplicate layer we will choose the brush and then we will erase the front part of this duplicate effect or duplicate layer the main purpose is uh, we will uh, we will have to show this girl in center of this place so this effect will be done by two layers one will be one will be the front part and the second will be the behind part and the girl will be in the center so this is it now now it's in the center as you can see the both of the layer have come created an illusion that the girl is in the center of the splash now uh, we will now we will decrease the opacity okay we are done with it okay now we are going to add some water uh, water drops or kind of another water splash and we will going to use a file for that this one this will be used as water splash for water drops and we are going to use it by drag and drop so we are dragging it and we will drop it on our image then we will drag it on all layers now we will invert it by control i and then we will change the blend mode to screen we will set it and position it control t for free transform okay now we are going to put a layer mask on it and then we will choose the brush make the brush bigger and erase as we want it to be wow this looks perfect i just love it okay so we have done the another splash effect and now we will add the flower bring the flower in the photoshop then select it control c for copy so you can go to menu edit paste now we will position it Okay, this looks fine. Now we will uh, bring bring it down, and then we will erase halfway so that it looks like it's in the water. So opacity will be twenty twenty two, and we will brush it brush on it. do it smoothly and have some patience till it gets good okay this looks fine now 
press control plus u to get the dialog box of hue saturation and uh, bring down some saturation and now about the all layers click on color lookup table and select the first one which is named as two stripes and now uh, bring down the opacity and and set the opacity around 65 to 70 this is the before after difference and this is the final result of our edit i hope you will love it and if you want to try it for yourself and you want the files i have used in this project just mail me i'll send you the project and the files and you can uh, try it for yourself